Welcome back to Is It Still Good, the channel where we watch older films and let you know if they still hold up today. We're going to watch a movie I've always liked a lot from 2001, Training Day. And Training Day is rated R, runs two hours, two minutes, and it is a crime drama thriller. IMDb gives it 7.7 out of 10, and it stars Denzel Washington, Ethan Hawke, Scott Glenn, Tom Berenger. He was only in it for a second. A couple of these guys were only in it for a second. Cliff Curtis was smiling. He was really good in it. Dr. Dre's in it. Snoop Dogg's in it. Makes a cameo. He's in it for a second. Eva Mendez. Looking all Eva mendez -y. And uh, Raymond Cruz. You may recognize him from uh, Point Break. And, you know, just a bunch of other faces and so on. This was directed by Antoine Fuqua and written by David Ayer. And Denzel Washington actually won an Oscar for Best Actor. He's really very denzel -y in this one. So the storyline is in Los Angeles, a city where streets are overrun by drug dealers. Those who have sworn to uphold the law are breaking them to clean up the streets. Denzel Washington plays LAPD Detective Alonzo Harris, a veteran narcotics officer whose methods of enforcing the law are questionable if not corrupt. Training Day follows Harris as he trains rookie Jake Hoyt over a 24-hour period. Ethical dilemmas arise for Hoyt as well as the audience as questions present themselves as to whether or not Harris's methodology for ridding the streets of South Central Los Angeles of drugs is right or wrong. Okay, bit of a mouthful, but I agree with the summary. That's pretty much what happens. You may recognize this one from Denzel's famous line, very memed out, King Kong ain't got shit on me. King Kong ain't got shit on me! Right? That was ad-lib, according to uh, D. Beers. It's an interesting movie. They give it 7.7 .7 out of 10. Do I agree? Well, stick around to the end of the review to find out. But I will say this. It is a really good movie, for sure. Now, if you're not into crime stuff, you're not into gangland stuff, guns and testosterone and all this crap doesn't appeal to you, it's going to be less exciting for you, for sure. But it's still a good movie, regardless of what genres you're into. So if you get stuck watching it, you could do a lot worse is my point, right? This movie sort of seems to stand on the shoulders of movies like Colors and Falling Down. I kept thinking of those two upon the rewatch. I gotta watch them again. Falling Down's been requested for the channel, actually. And Colors, I'd have to rewatch it again, but it may even be like the same plot. I believe a veteran cop is training a rookie in Gangland LA. Is that not Colors? Can somebody correct me in the comments? I haven't seen it in a million years. But whereas Colors had a really funny theme song. That I loved. I believe that Training Day sort of perfected the formula. Every scene's kind of important and informs the next. Denzel steals every scene he's in and he's, he's the star of the movie, so very impressive performance from him. Throughout this movie, you know, Detective Harris will insult and or compromise, you know, Officer Hoyt, Ethan Hawke, throughout the film. And then shortly thereafter, go ahead and compliment him or put him at ease in some way that kind of clouds the issue. He's a really great, quote, bad guy in this spoilers because it's hard to tell if he's the bad guy half the time, which is great. I mean, a lot of the worst people in the world are slick talking and can convince you and even themselves that they are the good guy. You know, a lot of villains are the main character in their story, right? And Denzel's like a classic case of this in this movie. So it's very interesting to see how everything goes. And, you know, he has a line in it, only a wolf can catch another wolf. And he's clearly being a wolf throughout the the movie, and you would argue that Jake Hoyt, Ethan Hawke, was a bit of a sheep in the beginning of the film. By the end, he is clearly another wolf, and it is Hoyt who pretty much takes down Detective Harris, the corrupt Detective Harris, but also with the blessing of the hood. Everybody in Denzel's cipher sort of sides with Officer Hoyt, because throughout the film, he exemplifies a good man. He risks his own safety to help strangers, Listen to me, that girl is being raped, all right? I saw these two fucking drug addicts attacking her, and I stopped them, man. I what? swear to God, I stopped them. He wants to definitely do some good in his community. Almost, you know, to a fault, he's very cheesy in this, but he's sincere. He means it. And because he means it, and he's true to himself, and he is a good person, he does ultimately prevail in the end. He's stuck to himself, and he wins over, you know, those that are ruled by honor and loyalty and you know a lot of these modalities people preach and you know they say they live by them especially a lot of street thugs and stuff like that but as soon as money's thrown into the mix everybody turns on each other and this is true you know in all walks of life really not just gangland but officer hoyt is actually truly uncorruptible for the most part 
Now, one thing that confuses me about this film, and somebody correct me in the comments and or add to it, but Harris, Detective Harris was telling him, you know, Denzel's talking to Ethan Hawke, we'll just say that. And he says, you know, I could kill you right now, and it'll be like, officer was shot in the line of duty while serving a high-risk warrant or whatever, and you would be honored, but you were survived by, you know, your woman and your daughter. Well, when it's Harris, you know, Denzel that's killed instead in the end. Police! There is a news report that goes off saying that an officer was killed in the line of duty, serving a high risk warrant and so on, which kind of tells me that I think, I'm pretty sure Officer Hoyt keeps the money. And I thought about that and I think the reason being is he doesn't have the evidence on Detective Harris, I don't think. So this is just a theory of mine. I believe Hoyt kept the money, which sucks because he's basically a living saint. But because there's nothing he could have done about it, you know, and that money's just around, I don't know what happened in the money. Somebody tell me in the comments what you thought. Rewatch this film. Let me know what you think happened in the money. I think Hoyt may have kept it, unless there's something I missed. Other than that, I love the way this unfolds. I love watching the character arc of Officer Hoyt. And I really think that Denzel Washington deserved the Oscar. Totally. He makes every scene. He's amazing. So that's my two cents. Now, what do I give this film as far as a number score? Well, let me try to sell you guys a couple of my books. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, hopefully you guys purchased one or both of my novels and or went over to Audible and uh, got the Unkillable Joe audiobook. That would mean a lot to me. Good way to support the channel. Okay, training day. IMDb gives a 7.7 .7 out of 10. Do I agree? No, almost. I give training day an 8 out of 10. 8 even, which is highly watchable. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. If you've seen it again, it's actually very good to rewatch. It's got a lot of rewatchability to it. So fun movie. I had a great time with it. And guys, I just got to take a second here and thank you for watching the channel. It's starting to grow now. And I don't know why I started this project. I just love film. But what's cool about it is the YouTube channel has forced me to go back and watch a ton of movies I wouldn't have watched otherwise. So it's been highly worth it. I really love what we're doing here. I love the comments. They're my favorite part of this project. I love watching the conversation spill over into the comments. You guys bring up points I never would have thought of, and I don't know, I'm mushy, but I just wanted to say thank you. So, love you guys, keep watching film, and keep reading books, and we'll see you next time on Is It Still Good?